So this is a demo video of the duplicate and merge post plugin. What this plugin will allow you to do in a nutshell is clone an existing post or custom post type of your choosing into a new draft, edit that draft, and then merge it back over the original. So let's dive into the plugin. After you have it installed, uh, there's a number of different settings that you'll want to configure. Uh, underneath your settings options here, you'll see duplicate and merge. There's a number of different settings here. Two of the most important would be who has access, what user level has access to actually duplicate uh, and edit a post. And by default, it's set to administrator, editor, and author. You can go ahead and uncheck any of these boxes that don't apply to your specific site. And then the next most important piece is who has access to merge that duplicated post back over the original. And by default, that is set to administrator and editor. If a user does not have merge level access, once they have duplicated a post and they're ready to uh, merge that back or submit it to be merged by an administrator, whoever has access to actually merge those back, um, that will ping whatever email you have in the e admin email box. And you can enter one per line. When they submit for review, that will ping you and say, hey, this person duplicated a post, made updates, and they want to merge it back to the original. So you can go ahead and view what they've changed and merge it back. Without further ado, though, uh, you can also exclude post types, yada, yada, yada. But let's go ahead and see how the plugin actually works. So I'm an administrative user, so uh, by default, I have access to edit and merge posts. So we'll just run through that workflow. So when I'm on the site in the WordPress admin bar, we have this duplicate and edit page. So I can click on this to duplicate this page. Let's say, for example, I want to change you know, the title, a couple of other things. With default WordPress, it's kind of hard to do that. Um, revisions isn't very straightforward and editing this on the live site will edit that live page. If you don't have a server or a staging server set up somewhere, it's really hard to do. So let's go ahead and duplicate uh, and merge this post. So I can do it from here. If I click on duplicate and edit, that'll go ahead and duplicate it and edit it. You can also do it from the edit screen here underneath the publish options. So if I go ahead and click on duplicate and edit, what that'll do is copy every single thing from that original post. You'll see it's prefixed with the duplicated header there. Um, so what I wanna do is actually change, I was gonna change the main title of this page to uh, American Banks. Let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change some other pieces here. But before I do that, uh, let's take a look at some of the other options. So you can go and view the original post to see what the original actually looks like. You can see side-by-side -side differences. I'll show you guys that in a second. Uh, again, I can submit this for review, but I'm an admin, so I, I actually see this merge back to original post. Again, you can control who sees this merge back to original post in the options. And if I decide that, you know what, I don't wanna merge this back into the original post, but I want it to be its own post, that lives on its own, I can go ahead and save this to a new post. Uh, and that'll help dr uh, dramatically speed up the time it takes to create a post. Because as you can see here, all of my custom fields, all of that data has been copied over. So I don't have to re-enter all these things. Uh, and by the way, guys, this works with advanced custom fields out of the box. So that's pretty rad if you're using that. Uh, if you're using other WordPress plugins and what have you, it'll copy over that metadata as well. Cool, so let's go ahead and add, uh, change a couple more pieces. So I wanna remove some of that text. I'm gonna go ahead and save this draft and let's go ahead and view side-by-side -side differences. So here we can quickly see what has changed from the original. So here's the original and that's the text that I removed and there is the new line and that's the new title as well. So from this view, I can go ahead and merge this back over the original post and that will overwrite what that original post had on it. So if I were to overwrite that, this would change to American Banks and that other field would also update. But let's go ahead and change some other things. 
So I want to change the title, which is already changed. And you know what? I don't really like this image here. So I'm going to update that in the duplicated post as well. So I'm going to go back into the duplicated post and we'll just keep that as American banks for now. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to my field that I want to change. Here's that image. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Go ahead and add a new image. So I'm going to change it to this guy right here. So I'm going to go ahead and save this draft. And I'm going to go ahead and look at that. Let's see what it looks like. So here we go, American banks, cool. And there's my new uh, image. So a side-by-side -side view, this is the current page that's live on the site. This would be your page that isn't published yet, that uh, draft cloned version. But let's see, so this looks good. Yeah, I like that. I might wanna change some other things on the page. Really, you can change whatever you want. And then, so I'm happy with that. Um, we're actually going to change this back to all banks because we serve all banks and we're going to go ahead and instead of merging this back to the original post, well, I'll go, I guess I'll go ahead and do that. But if I submit for review, it'll go ahead and ping me an email uh, or whoever is on that email list that says, hey, this user has updated, you know, the banks page, go check that out, see what they changed if they like that or if you like the changes, go ahead and merge that back in. So this could be used for all types of things, including like people fixing typos on your site, making your site kind of like a wiki, or you know, you name it, um, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and merge this back to the original post. So when I click merge this back to the original post, this clone copy gets deleted, so poof. That, that post ID is gone and we're back to the original post ID of 68. And here we have our changes. So if we go ahead and view this page, we can see that all of our changes, all banks, and that new updated image is there. And I can't remember where the other thing is, but it's on here as well. So there you have it. Uh, you can duplicate and edit posts and quickly spin out either new versions of those pages or posts so you don't have to re-enter all this information or update existing posts without disturbing the live page on your site. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys have any questions, feel free to tweet at me at David Wells or at Exegy and we'll be happy to point you in the right direction. Thanks.